Next news is out of Germany. North Indians protest against serving of beef in Germany. Police say this is not your country to hold a protest. So there's an Indian consulate in Germany that holds an Indian festival annually. Um, and it turns out that one of the vendors, food vendors there, actually serves beef. Um, and a few North Indian visitors were in an uproar because the consumption of beef is obviously prohibited, prohibited in many Hindu scriptures. Um, and the event goers took the case to the police uh, who said, this isn't your country to protest in. So um, German authorities made it clear they don't have any qualms about food choices and don't mind what people eat. Okay, so Shopam, explain to us. North India is a lot more... Um, yeah, North India is like, uh, it's a group of states like uh, Uttar Pradesh and many, many other states. It's like the equivalent of the Bible Belt in India. I mean, it is oh. known as the Cow Belt in right. India. So North it is equivalent India, to the Bible North Belt. North India is where all the religious, like... Yeah, not, not all. Okay. I mean, but it is very concentrated. Right. And it is like the hub of Hinduism. I mean, that's like where you'll find the most... Uh, most okay. extreme Hindus and everything. Okay, but okay, but this is in Germany, and North yeah. Indians in Germany are protesting, be serving beef in Germany. Like, what the? F yeah, what the I hell? mean, I'm I'm not surprised actually because I mean that sounds like something they would do. Okay, so first is that the Indian consulate is serving beef uh, from uh, a dish from Kerala, and Kerala is a southern state in India. Yeah, which, As opposed which, to, which, which beef is allowed in Kerala. Yeah, beef is 100% allowed in Kerala and they're okay. serving their own dish of beef. And this North Indians, they're like extreme Hindus and everything. They're like, no, you are an Indian. That means you are an Hindu. And that means if you are an Indian and Hindu, that means you cannot eat beef. That means we cannot eat beef. And that means you have to ban the beef. We are offended. You need to ban beef. Okay, so think about the arrogance of these people, okay? The arrogance yeah. on two levels, right? First of all, you're in fucking Germany, motherfuckers. You can't tell people not to eat beef. I mean, you, can, you shouldn't be able to tell beef anywhere to anybody, right? Um, but you're in Germany and you're enforcing your religious rules in Germany, okay? Second of all, so that German, but, say, but you also are offended because this is the Indian consulate. So as if, North, as if your North Indian values is supposed to represent all of India. Like, okay, uh, yeah, there. Uh, North Indians, I mean, uh, I don't want to be racist, okay, but I will be called racist for this. Okay. But North Indians, m many North Indians, they act as if they are the representatives of the whole country. Right. I mean, if you, if you look at the stereotypes Western people usually have of India, right. I mean, it is mostly North Indian. Right. It is mostly okay. North Indian. They act as uh, they are the... I mean, they are the top class. I mean, they are the descendants of Aryans. Uh, they act as if they are superior to every other race. And they act as if they are the representatives of the country to foreign mm -hmm. people. And they try to represent everything. I mean, they uh, say Indian culture, while actually there is nothing called Indian culture. It's just North Indian culture. Different parts in India have different cultures. They think they're Aryans, don't you, right? Yeah, they think they are Aryans. I had some North Indian people coming to me because I'm from Iran and Iranians think they're Aryans too. And they got this North India like, you know, to like, oh, you have to tap into your Aryan heritage. Or like, I'm North Indian, we're Aryan brothers. I was like, what the fuck? Anyways, but, but he... Yes. <laughs> they, I mean, they, that's actually like uh, interesting because many North Indians I know, they like, don't like the name India they prefer Hindustan. They don't even prefer Hindu. They prefer uh, something else because these terms were coined by Persians. Right. But um, also, like, a lot of people are afraid of, like, creeping Sharia in Europe and stuff. But they don't, like, but this is creeping Hinduism, isn't it? Like, enforcing. Yeah, it is. Yeah, so this is, if you're worried about creeping Sharia, be also, be, be, be consistent. This is scary as well. Um, by the way, somebody in the Facebook live chat is asking how they could participate in the chat that is showing up on the screen on the left side. Well, for that, you have to actually hop over to YouTube. Come subscribe to our YouTube channel. So the live, the, when we go live with the news, everything right on the live chat of the news will permanently be there on every news that we cover. So, yeah. So YouTube live chat shows up on the screen. But Facebook live chat, I'm just watching it on my phone. 
Let me see what the top comment is. By the way, this article was removed after a while. Even yeah, this didn't... article was removed from one site that is National Herald. There, this article is available in different other sites, but from this site it was removed. From I don't what? know, maybe pressure from North Indians. But yeah, probably. because it wasn't fake news. Because other other news, other yeah. places, other Indian mainstream media kept it. So the re- the interesting, if they removed it, it does ma- like you're right. It must have just a lot of pressure from some. Yeah, some of these I areas. mean, I mean, North Indians have pressured people into canceling events and anything related to beef and cows. Right. Uh, just because they have the power in the government. Okay, so the top comment says, "We love your country and freedom it grants to us, but we will make sure it it goes away." So yeah, basically they're coming to a country where it provides you for freedom, and now you're using that freedom to take other people's freedom away. Natalia saying they should be thankful and appreciate cause appreciate cause they have probably better life instead of imposed on rules. I don't know if that was proper English, but it didn't sound like it. Uh, Florian, <laughs> sorry, Florian is saying I do not eat beef. However, however, I would never dare tell someone else what they can or cannot eat. It's called common sense and respect for others. Not everyone seems to have these values. Atheists are under attack in many places. If they were Christians, their voices would be heard. If they were Jews, their voices would be heard. If they were Muslims, their voices would be heard. But they are atheists, and not many seem to be listening. Let's make it difficult for them to ignore us. We have built a global community, and now we are tearing down geographic, cultural, and language barriers so we can find each other and support each other. In the last decade, we have built the largest atheist community in the world. Now we are doing the same in other languages. With your help, we have started Atheist Republic in Persian and Arabic. انضميت مؤخرا لأسرة Atheist Republic وحيصير عندي بودكاست باللغة العربية. As we grow, we can dedicate more time, staff, and resources to start doing the same in Spanish, Portuguese, Malay, Bengali, Urdu, Hindi, and other languages. We are providing community, support, informative content, and amplifying the voices of those who need protection, especially in countries where people feel isolated simply for their lack of belief. We want to be there for them, and we are only getting started. Help us get there. Check in the description for ways you can support our projects.